growing up, I was in um, the Leanne Rhymes fan club. Okay. <laughs> I was a big <laughs> Leanne Rhymes. I don't know. What it is. I don't either. I was. <laughs> <laughs> we just weren't expecting it. We were. Not. I don't either. Live from the Willie Nelson and Friends Museum Showcase in Nashville, Tennessee. It's music is funny. Musicians talking to comedians about music and comedy. With your hosts, Raylan Nelson and Jonathan Bright. Smoking on so hot, I keep talking. I'm drunk, but I'm still drinking too. Welcome back to Music is Funny. I'm Raylan Nelson. And I'm Jonathan Bright, back with another ridiculous and unnecessary intro. Chelsea Lynn. Scott. Okay, so we start every episode. First of all, don't be afraid to be silly and funny. Okay. Okay. You can say fuck. It's my favorite word. Don't censor yourself. If you Mm -hmm. say something that you want us to take out, we'll take it out. Okay. We'll clip it and put it on the internet. (laughs) (laughs) We've already tweeted it. (laughs) Okay, so um, did I say everything I needed to say? Yeah, I think so. What's the first music you remember loving as a kid? Ooh. Loving as a kid, I mean, probably 90s country. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember like a particular very, oh. very, very, very first song? And if it's cool, you're probably lighting. That's what we've decided. <laughs> I think a couple a couple pop in. I think my first like music memory was when that song, not this was not country. This was probably, I remember being in the back seat in a car seat and my little sister had just been born. So this was probably... 89 and that song black velvet oh yeah oh god um, what was her name uh oh my god I, somebody did a country version of it that sounded exactly the same yeah. but, oh i know her name it's driving me I nuts i'm i okay you know you know, I what I'm do know about. exactly what you're talking about that song had just came out and man i just remember like my mom turning it up and that was like my first like i guess my first music memory but in terms of like what I loved as a kid, you know, like the first thing that popped in my mind was dust in a, on dust on the bottle. Oh yeah, yeah. By, um, gotta be <laughs> a little dust on the bottle. Yep, yep. Don't let it fool mm-hmm. you. Yeah, who was yeah. that guy? Dave, He's a one David Lee Murphy. No. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I think David you're right. David Lee Murphy. David Lee Murphy. It's back yeah. in the three three name country era. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> had three names. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So that type of country, man, just, yeah. you know, growing up in Oklahoma in the 90s, that shit was popping. Surely Toby Keith favorite. being from Oklahoma. Yes, that was more like late. That was more like junior high, yeah. high school. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, Toby Keith. It, when you're when you're from Oklahoma, anybody that makes it big from Oklahoma is like, that's like a big deal. Yeah. Rebus from Oklahoma, oh, Garth right. from Oklahoma, right. Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Wow. We have some big ones. Yeah, we do have some big ones. Yeah. Yes. That's weird. And everybody's, every, I didn't know that all those people were from Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. I think um, uh, Ronnie Dunn's from Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of them. We and it's mostly lot. country music through there. Yeah. I can't think of any other genre. Of, I can't <laughs> think of a rock star from Oklahoma. <laughs> if there's a rock star from Oklahoma, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't know who you are, but what yeah. About rappers. Any I don't think so. <laughs> we just got country. I don't. I can't think of anyone. Yeah. Mm-mm. Is there a lot of farming out there in Oklahoma? Oh yeah, big yeah. time. Cattle farming. Cattle. Okay. The most, you know, probably that. That's country. Like cattle. Oh yeah, big time. Cowboys. And watermelon fields. We're real big on watermelon. Whoa. Oh, every summertime. Can you say watermelon anymore? Can you say that aloud. <laughs> you can't yes. say that. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. In Oklahoma, if it's in the summertime, oh, truckloads of, you know, in parking lots, there'll be like 10 dudes selling watermelons. Have the back of the trucks. Oh, yeah. It's like firewood in the south. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. So did you do the country thing? Uh, was that your main genre after that all through junior high and high school? Or did you branch out, find oh, the rock I've, and roll, the rap? Oh, I've branched out big time. At know. what point, though? I think we're around the same age. So maybe high school did rap come in? R like hip hop, yeah, R and B, yes, in. Usher, that type of stuff in, yeah. in early high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was country up until yeah about high school, um, and now, gosh, I listen to. I mean, honestly, everything. Yeah. I like a lot of oldies. Like when I say oldies, like 
you know, like Temptations, like the the soda shop type of. Uh, right. My grandma had uh, malt shop memories. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> Remember malt shop malt memories? Shop memories. <laughs> and that was my shit, dude. I would just listen to those CDs on repeat. Malt shop memories. Is it like the Archies and stuff? Like honey. Da, yes. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. the, the old school. Like 50s yes. era. Yep. Yep. Because you say oldies nowadays, you can be talking about Nirvana. You yeah, know exactly. I mean? I'm old enough to like. I know. That's classic <laughs> rock? Are you kidding I know. me? Yeah. The kids think it is. That's classic rock now. Yeah. It's, yeah. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> no, I'm talking about oldies, 50s, 60s. Original rock and roll. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Love that. Love that stuff. I love everything, though. Our tour playlist is oh. all over the place. Oh, we have a we have a tour playlist that we listen to when, we, when we're driving to the next venue, and we have one that we play um, when doors open. Well, first, so, how do you get this playlist? Do you, is it a democratic? Uh, it's you guys on, pick, how, how it's is on that, Spotify. What's that it's, oh, oh, we just randomly... I don't even know how we did it. We'll just be like, add that to the list. Yes. Okay. Add that to the list. We'll hear a song, add it to the list. And it is from, I mean, when I say one song to the next, you'll just be like, this does not belong in the same playlist. It's <laughs> all over the place. It's all over the place. Well, that sounds kind of like when we travel, there's four of us and nobody really agrees on what kind of music to listen to. So we all, it's comedy podcasts and comedy stand up. But the rare times we do, Usually late ourselves. at night when I'm drinking, I'll be like, we're going to play the DJ game. And so everybody gets to pick a song. Gets and we have to go song. in order. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it's a lot like your playlist, yeah. I bet. What's your go-to all, song? Oh, it really depends on the night and how yeah. much we've had to drink. You know, yeah. It can go old punk rock or maybe just classic rock, some old school hip hop. Our bass player, Preach, usually has new songs. He's like the guy who finds out new music, mm. you know. And if it's good, he'll tell you and then you'll tell me or whatever. He'll play it. and it, Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like that's you. I feel like that's you. I stick to like the. I mean, we all like oldies, but like you'll have you'll pop out people that I'm like, who is that? Yeah, like, yeah where do you find bunny. them? Yes, I just um. So I'll I'll listen to something on Spotify, and then when that album's done, it'll give me something randomly that Sounds kind of like, like it, yeah. and then I just go off on these little vines and find. Okay, I uh, never do that on Spotify. I never really. No, hmm. I just go to what I li- want to listen to. Yeah. And, but I have a thing where I want to listen to the same song over and over and over yes. and over and over and over, and over again. I will drive people absolutely insane. I could li- listen to one song for hours for weeks. Yes. And then yep. I don't want to listen to it anymore. And, yep. and the, But then it'll, that song will remind you of that season of life. Mm-hmm. Every Isn't that time. weird? I love it. It is yeah. bizarre. Yeah. And we used to have those battle like we're pretty competitive with each other anyway, but once we were doing the DJ game, it was who could find that one nineties rap song that you've completely forgotten about. It's going to blow your mind. I remember like, was, oh! DMX. I found DMX and she just went oh! crazy and started dancing around. So we, yeah, very competitive with that stuff. Yes. Y'all, y'all remember y'all going to make me lose my mind. Oh, up in hell here. yeah. Up in here. Yeah. yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. A banger. Right? A banger, dude. And then oh, we were trying to figure out what, um, what ludicrous video he did where his head was really big and we couldn't remember <laughs> and we found it was Roll Out. And Roll how out. fucking great was Roll Out? Oh Roll my God. Any ludicrous song. Yes. I mean, my friends and I, we'd go to the mall when we leave the mall. Roll Out. <laughs> we'd go get some cigarettes. Leave the cigarette place. Roll Out. Roll out. I think that might actually be on our <clears throat> playlist I think for so. the show. I think it is. We got you several. move, I move. Just yeah. like that. When I move, you move. Just, just like, like that. that. Yes. <laughs> And to throw them bows. Throw them bows. Oh, yeah. You remember Ludacris that one? Great. Yeah, what happened to Ludacris? Do y'all remember when he tried to do... Uh, he tried to... Oh, he was on he a, war, a country awards show, and he did a duet with... Oh, God, I can't remember it who was it like was. It was like Jason Aldean. But he no. came out with a guitar, which was ridiculous, because he was just holding it. And I'm like, <laughs> That'd be me. He was out <laughs> there. <That's laughs> right. He's not even faking. Why did you even take the guitar out? <laughs> just, just do the rap thing. <laughs> I remember talking to you a couple days ago, like, Ludacris, he's dead to me now. This is ridiculous. He's jumped the show. I had a show at Zany's last night, and I we sung some songs on stage, and I don't know how to play the guitar. <laughs> Not even a little bit. But by God, I had a guitar strapped on like I knew how to play it. Just for just for shits and giggles. So yeah. did you strum? or you just... I strummed a little bit, acted like I knew, and I'd and get in this in the a... whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew what I was doing. It's just for fun. Yeah. yeah. We found out that a lot of people don't like guitar acts as far as comedians yeah, as go. Yeah, comedy goes, yeah. But some of the old school like work? think it's somehow cheating or something. If you're like singing, or don't like to, to follow, 
somebody oh, playing guitar and singing. Yeah. Like, if they're doing parody songs. The crowd already knows the song. They're making them a little funny, but they get this hype and blah. It's just impossible to fire a, gu- oh, a guitar yeah. at. Yeah, yeah. But what if you write the funny song? Do you think that's better? I think it's both funny. I don't know. Okay, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. I agree with Funny's you. Funny's funny. I, like I don't care what you're doing. Yep, I agree. As long as they're laughing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of funny, who's the first comedian that you, or comedy thing that ever came across your radar? Probably late 90s SNL. Okay. Sherry O'Terry, Chris Kattan, Chris Farley, like all that whole like 97 to like 2001 SNL. So it was skits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> listen to, oh, oh, stand up? Oh, gosh, not till, not till, I mean, I was an adult. Well, yeah. like most people we've talked to, as a kid, you don't even know that that's like, a lot of people, Stand Eddie Murphy's yeah. it was their first guy. And they're like, I didn't know you went to clubs. Or it was just right. another rock star coming through town telling jokes. Or you were on TV. Half the people on TV had no idea were stand-ups before they got on TV. Oh, yeah. And how they fed them. You know, Tim Allen, all those guys. Mm-hmm. You're like, Bob Saget. Yeah. Like, I'm still I, finding people out that I didn't know. You dude, know. The first, remember the first time you heard Bob Saget that wasn't on Full House? I was like, oh, my God, this guy is blue. <laughs> right. He could never get that gig now if it was starting now. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. you would be a great dad. Let me see some of your stand up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Not exactly. a chance. Exactly. Uh, okay, so SNL. So then, so did you do drama in high school? Did you. No, I went to a very small high school. Like, we didn't have a lot of extra, you know, curricular. We didn't have band, really? football. Oh, wow. Um, art. How many students? I graduated with 12 people. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? One Not even enough to make a yeah. team. So we had one hallway and... <laughs> Can't even play man to man. I mean, like, we didn't have that type of stuff. Um, so did you talent? learn math and uh, English? A little bit. They don't count to 12, <laughs> at least. A little bit. <laughs> Did how pe- the town had to be tiny then, obviously. <laughs> oh, we had no stoplights, um, <laughs> no dirt roads. But when I was in high school, they built the world's largest casino. What? That oh. must have been wild. <laughs> the world's <laughs> largest casino. That's one way to get people to come to town. In my hometown. And now we have a couple stoplights. What? Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. How and do that, they have enough how people to... How big the high school now? <laughs> I, I think it's still pretty small, which okay. is wild. They built uh, an apartment building close to the casino. But <laughs> that's about it. Most people drive from out of town. Yeah, who works at the casino? Oh, it's How can he, they stop? It's you. Is it people from out of the out of the city? <laughs> Bro, people drive up from Dallas to work there. Like people drive up like oh, it's, okay. I think oh, it's I, I would say it's 90% out of towners. No doubt. And it's all kind of clustered right there, so I mean like a 30 minute drive to work if, you know, for a good job is nothing, but oh, the town's still very small. Wow. No so you're restaurants. Pretty close to Texas. Oh yeah, I'm right on the Oklahoma Texas border. I'm about 45 minutes north of Dallas. Yeah. In Thackerville, Oklahoma. Um, I don't know if you know where Ardmore, Oklahoma is. It's about 45 minutes south of Ardmore. So it, it, there's nothing there's nothing around but the casino. So clearly there was no drama what? team. No, we school. had no drama <laughs> class. <laughs> that was it. Did you have any designs as far back as that that maybe you want to do something in the performing arts? Oh, big time. And you know what? I found my... Um, you know, I don't know if y'all do this where you're from, but like when you graduate, you get you get your own little section in the uh, newspaper, the local newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't do that. No. What do you mean by own little section? No. <laughs> you, you, you get your you get your picture in there, and you get a little about me section, and uh, like who your grandparents are, who you you know if you played softball or not. And I, I thought everyone did this. No. No, I oh had yearbooks, gosh. but your yearbook would have been like one page. Yeah, like yeah. A, a it's a pamphlet. Sheet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Eight by ten. And at the bottom, it puts like, where do you see yourself in like 10 years or whatever? And I completely forgot about this until I dug this out um, a couple years ago. And it said, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And I put, I'm going to move to Hollywood and, buy, and be a high paid uh, comedic actress. And I do not remember putting that. Holy shit. Isn't that wild? Wow. Yeah. So well, you had to be aware that there were high-paid comedic actresses uh, out there. Then. I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's the high-paid Hi, for me. Oh, I yeah. put high-paid. Yeah. High-paid. High paid. Big gigs here. 
Yes. Wow. No low budgets. I wanted like high paid. So were you making up skits with your friends to entertain yourselves? Were you, how were you practicing this? It have to be small you... skits because if you have a group in the audience, <laughs> there's been so many people left. I don't, see, I don't feel like I was. Okay. I don't feel like I was, honestly. Like, it wasn't until I got married at 21 and moved to Dallas and we lived there for a couple years, and then I started on Vine. You guys remember oh, Vine? Yeah. That's where I started, and that for me was like where I started the whole. And back then, there were no like big content creators, internet comedians. That was not no. so. The fact that I was thinking that could happen was not even in my mind. You right. know, I was just having <laughs> fun. Mm -hmm. So I literally started like making these little videos, and it was so fun for me. Started with three followers. Two were my sisters, and then it just took off. <laughs> and, and what made you do the first one? I mean, where'd the idea come from? Dude, I had... And what was the first I'll one? I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah tell me. I'll I tell remember. Your where were you like, this is going to be funny? Where okay, I had a Reba shirt, as, ever, <laughs> as everyone should, okay? I had a Reba shirt, and we were I was wearing it, and we were driving through town, and there was this just trashy trailer. I mean, they were everywhere, you know? And we, I go, st I go, pull over, pull over, stopped in front of it. And uh, by the way, I was born and raised in a trashy trailer, so this was, you know, I get out in the front yard of these people's house, <laughs> in my in my um, Reba shirt. And do you guys remember that show, American Pickers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I said, here. Um, yeah, they live yeah, here now. I know, okay. I know. Um, I said, I randomly go, yeah, the American Pickers guys are gonna come. Look at some shit I got out back. After that, me and the fat one are probably going to fuck. <laughs> and that was like, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> and that was it. And I posted that for no one but myself. <laughs> and it got a little bit of love. I was like, okay. So I just did another one, got a little bit of love. And, and I thought, maybe I should like make this a whole character. And it just, it, that's where it started. Now with Vine, because I never did it, were there likes? Is that how did how did you tell who was watching? Could you just views or? Is I don't it like know. a reel? I don't remember it either. <sighs> kind of like a reel where it just got likes and people could comment. It was mm -hmm. short videos, six like TikTok, seconds, basically. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> six <laughs> seconds, yeah. And then just followers. I'll never forget when I hit a thousand followers, I screamed. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, a thousand, <laughs> a, pe a thousand people are following me. I thought it was the wildest thing in the world. And there was no way to make money off that back oh, then. No. At all. It was oh just, no. I did it for um, six years and never made a cent. And never made a you know a cent. That's where we <clears> met, <throat> and I remember her. I remember the first line <clears throat> I saw of hers. It was her running up to a car with no bra on, <laughs> and she's talking to somebody in the car. She goes, "Help me! Help me! My trailer house is on fire!" And I I laughed so hard first of all because she was in a bra. I'm like, this lady's my hero. <laughs> I don't know who she is. That was my very first Vine. Um, the one I told you about was my first Tammy Vine, but that was the very first <laughs> video I did. Just stupid. Yeah. But we at were, the time, it just everything was so quick. So mm -hmm. it was like, you know. You had six funny. seconds to be oh, funny. Right. Six seconds, exactly. I hated Vine, though. That, that It was hard to do the six second thing. Yeah. yeah. So no time it, for setup or anything, mm -hmm. basically. Just right in. So when it was over with and, and moved on to the next platform, I loved it, dude. I couldn't stand the six. It was hard for me to do the six second thing. But so, how long did you say you were doing the Vine stuff? Oh gosh, I did that. How long was Vine popping? Three, three years. Maybe? Three ish years. So when you're doing that, are you thinking maybe I'll figure out a way to do this as my gig? Or are you just like no? Just so you still fun. have no designs on. What you, were you? You've forgotten about being a, com a rich comedic actress at this point because. <laughs> You just remembered. So I guess. Were you like an accountant or something? No, like, what I, were you God, doing? Where was I working at the time? I worked. <clears throat> I was a substitute teacher. Okay. Elementary substitute teacher. I worked at Whole Foods. And then um, my husband and I moved to San Diego and I was working at Whole Foods. And then he's an engineer. So I was working at his company, basically like assisting engineers. And, you know, I don't even know. I mean, I loved it, but I never thought I would be able to quit my job or do stand up or yeah. do anything. That was. That was, you know, it's still wild to me. No, I never thought that. But we, Greg got a job in San Diego, and I was pissed. I did not want to move to San Diego. How was that being from a tiny town in Oklahoma? Well, I, now, I, we just moved here to Nashville like two, three months ago, and we lived in San Diego for 10 years. <clears throat> Love San Diego. Love so Southern I, California. Yeah. Amazing. Weather's pretty nice. I, I mean, I'm really going to miss it. I loved every minute of it. 
But um, <clears throat> we moved to San Diego, and I was pissed. I did not want. I was like, "Why are you? Why'd you take a job in San Diego?" Like I was like not happy, and it was only supposed to be for a year. Um, but he goes, he goes. Well, now you'll be able to go like after your dreams, you know. Like I mean, now you'll be able to like we'll be close to L.A. You can do some auditions, type of thing. So the, he kind of talked me into it. I was like, all right. You so know, you like, still had that in the back of your mind while oh, you're doing vines, like, yeah. Just no really idea how to right. make it happen, right? Exactly. No idea how. And I still have no idea how. <laughs> I don't, man. People, will ask, oh my gosh, people ask me all the time, how do I get into, you know, starting videos or doing stand up or doing, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Start with Vine. And wing it. <laughs> just, w- yes. Just start wing, doing it. wing it. And then when opportunities come, you just take them and you, you know, that's. Run with it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So at San Diego, were you going to LA at all doing auditions and all that stuff? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, um, I quit my nine to five a little over five years ago, about five years ago. And, um, I wasn't making any money at all. A uh, little bit. I might be making a couple hundred dollars on YouTube. I was not like making enough to quit my job. Oh, yeah. And um, man, I was on my way to work one day and I had not talked to Greg about this or anything. We had just bought a house that month, our first house. And our, oh, our mortgage was almost triple what our rent was, you know. Right. So we had just, and I was on my way to work and I go, it just went off in my head. I go, I'm going to quit. I'm going to put in my two weeks and I'm going to do this full time. And I have no idea where that came from. And I went to work, put in my two weeks, called him and told him. And I thought he was going to be like, go get your job back. So you yeah. called him after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, he was like, great. Now you can do this full time. Now you can go after it full time. And when I was able to do that is when it just started popping off and growing and yeah. making enough money to, you know, I was like, as long as I can bring home $2,200 a month, which is what I was making at my job, I go, I'll. I'm golden. I don't need to make any more. But you didn't start stand up then. No, I started stand up not even two years ago. Yeah, I've been I've been following you for a while, and I remember we'll get into here. that because the the rise is flabbergasting. We've cause we've talked to a lot of comics, and you know, ten years in is when they start to hit. So I know. we'll definitely get to okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's wild. So you were, but. When you were auditioning, how does that go? I mean, you'd never done anything like that before, right? Did you find an no. agent or did you pull out the, uh, no, go through a website and just um, show up? How did no, it people were contacting me. Really? Yeah. From just, the Vine stuff? Just from Vine and wow. YouTube and Instagram and, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, a part of this production. We'd love for you to audition for this. And that was really it. 100%. So had you blown up virally before you moved to San Diego? No. Okay. No. That's right when I moved out. to San Diego is when I had about a thousand followers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. San Diego has been very, very good to you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, but no, I, um, but I'd, you know, go to LA to, you know, be on podcasts and collab with people and do, right. you know, do like a Instagram collab <clears throat> and stuff like that. You know, that's wild. It's just a whole nother thing you stumbled upon. Everybody knows about those little side markets now, but back mm-hmm. then, you know, I remember when the first influencers were coming out, like, I don't even understand what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. There's a whole (laughs) economy going on that I was unaware of. Right. Why did you guys move to Nashville? We, a couple different things. We wanted land. Yeah. And and we wanted to build a house. You can't do that in Southern California. Not uh, at all, you know. Um, So that was probably the main reason. Um, It's expensive out there. And it was kind of like a, it was kind of like a last minute, you know, decision. We had talked about Texas and then and I was like, what about, you know, Nashville? And I asked like my sisters and Libby and everybody I was like, do we all want to move to Nashville? And everybody was like, yeah. Ted, like, you hung out here in, at all? Or? I'd been here a couple times. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> but just a couple times. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it. Sounds good. <laughs> right. That's literally how it went. Wow. Yeah. And what did you, the couple times that you were here, were you just like at Zany's or something? Or are you downtown? Um, no, I was. I have a lot of friends here, so okay. I would just stay. Okay. I, I knew the area. I would stay just with a lot visiting, of friends. Basically. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you know, my husband's from Texas, so he would want to. Um, um, he was wanting to move back to Texas. Yeah. I was like, okay, if we move back to Texas, I it would want. I would want the Austin area. Uh-huh. I would want to move back to the Dallas area, and he was like, okay, well, Austin is just as expensive as Southern California now. Yeah. It's because they all yeah. move there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't find land. I could not find land more than an acre within like a two-hour span of Austin that wasn't millions of dollars. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm talking like 20 acres, 
like four million. It was just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And so I brought it up to Greg, who had never been to Nashville. I was like, what about Nashville? He's like, no, I really want to move back to Texas. He gets here for the first time a little over a year ago. We had shows at Zany's. He was here not even 24 hours. <laughs> Walked in and goes, okay, let's move to Nashville. There you go. Um, I mean, there's there's this <clears throat> beef, supposedly, between Tennessee and Texas. It's not a, a whole lot different. You know, Austin is not that much different than Nashville as far as what you can do, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Right. And Nashville's getting expensive. Yeah, you yes. got here at the right time. I know. Yes. Yeah. I know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's I, yeah. Luckily, Austin's in the middle of L.A. and Nashville, and it's sort of like <laughs> caught in a net a lot of the people moving with money, you know? Yeah. A few people made it through. Theo Vaughn, those guys kind of got through, but mm -hmm. so a lot of people stopped in Austin. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I think Theo's moving to Austin now. Oh, Is yeah? he? I heard that. Yeah, Aww. I heard on some podcast. Oh, Meh. no. But I could be wrong. Oh, my God. You should check. I'm going to ask Because I think I heard that on a podcast. It could just be comedy goss, you know? Oh, my God. Hey, we still have Nate Bargatze, Kathleen Madigan. We're doing all right. Josh you guys now. Left. I know. Yeah. He said his wife didn't like the cold. I know. It's, it I does love get the cold. cold. I love it. Well, I you're miss in for a treat uh, starting Friday. Thursday. Yeah, it's <laughs> coming. Like one seasons. Yeah, we do have seasons for sure. I, I miss the rain and thunderstorms back home. Oh, thunderstorms back home in Oklahoma. Yeah. I miss the rain and I haven't had any of that in 10 years. So I am excited. Yeah. Yeah. Rain will gridlock Southern California. Oh my it's like God. like three feet of snow. <laughs> oh, it's hor Oh, it's bad. <laughs> I'll never forget when I first started, I first moved to San Diego and I'd been at my new job, um, at working at the um, where my husband worked, anyway, and these guys were like, it was like my second or third day. These guys were like at the window, they were like looking at something. I thought something was going on, you know. I was like, what? Is it? They're like, it's raining. They were sitting there. They had stopped their work to go look at the rain. They were mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? They're like it doesn't rain here. Like, that's wild. 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 <laughs> we just had a whole bunch of rain. I like loved it. But it, it <laughs> too many days in a row. Yeah, I love uh, it. She's like staring out the window, oh, all dreamy eyed, like, oh, oh, it's beautiful. I'll make some tomato soup, get a roast <laughs> pot going, <laughs> open the doors, <laughs> smell oh, the rain. I love it. Oh my god. So, how did the Tammy character? I want to know, like, the, the one you did that blew up because it had to be kind of one of those go to bed, you wake name up. Her Tammy? I wanted a. I knew I wanted to start with trailer trash, and I wanted. I wanted. Three T's. Alliteration. Yeah. Trailer good. Trash Tina, Trailer Trash Taunt. I, you know, I, I had, had gone over, and so I Googled just women's T names, and I was going through there, and I just stopped at Tammy because I was like, oh, that feels good. It rolls off the tongue good. I know so many Tammies. Yeah. I know it one. just felt yeah. like everybody knows a Tammy. <laughs> it felt right. I go, that's it. That's it. So, yeah. So when you put it up, because we talked to Libby about this, like when you put up the one that blows up, How's how's that from the time you put it up to the time you check your phone? I'm like, uh, what is happening here? The very first um, vi mega viral video I had, I almost didn't post because I didn't think it was funny. I feel like you might have had the same story. Yeah, kind of like the McDonald's thing. Yep. Yeah, like is this? Uh... I thought it was funny, but I was also hesitant. She sent it to me first, her viral video. She sent it to me first. She was like, oh, I don't know if I should post this. And I go, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's going viral. <laughs> You're posting it. Um, the very first one that went viral for me was one, I don't know if you guys remember, I'm, I'm basically walking up to a car and saying, hey, y'all got a cigarette? Yep. And she yep. goes, we don't smoke. And I go, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> me and my best friend had filmed that outside of a grocery store in Sanger, Texas, which, by the way, got demolished like a year ago, and people were DMing me from Sanger, being like, oh, they tore down your grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Um, and I had filmed it, mm, didn't think it was that funny, kept it in my, you know, camera roll for like a year. Whoa. And then I was like, I hadn't had any new, new content in a while. I hadn't posted in weeks. I was like, I need to post something. I was like, I don't have any good ideas. I'll just slap this up. And my, oh my <laughs> shit went, it was wild. I almost don't. It's almost overwhelming when something goes like that viral. You can't even get your head around I it. I will like turn off my phone type of thing. It's too much. Um, 
And then there's the people that don't know it's a character and don't know it's comedy and think it's real. So they're all like, you know, it's just it, you have news people. read. It's just why, dude, it's like, what? And family members <laughs> like, do you know you're going viral? Uh, no. <laughs> yes, Aunt Carol, I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, the couple in the car, did you know them? Did they know it was happening? And OK. Good. Yeah, that was my best friend. She filmed it. OK, got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. And we had we were just driving around and filming dumb videos and yeah that one just that was my first like viral video i did not think it was funny enough to post for a year oh That's my crazy. god but oh, then Chelsea. there's been times where i've i where i'll film something and i go this is going so viral and it does and then there's been times rob i'm thinking this video is so funny it's going viral and it's like you know, it does. So it's like you kind of never know. You, you know? never. If we knew, same with songs. If you knew what it was, you'd do it every time. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why people like, at labels and talent, blah, 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 I'm like, you guys don't know any more than anybody else. Because if you did, everybody on your roster right. would be huge. That's Everybody's so true. Everybody's just guessing. Yeah, what's the secret to the viral video? There's a lot video? of luck, uh, luck yeah. involved, one too. One of the secrets is to make it look like it's a real thing. I was real about to authentic. ask, how do you think yeah. the first one, do you, like, percentage-wise, who took the bait? And was like, oh, everyone thought that was, oh, everyone thought that was real. That's that. That's very true. It needs to look real and authentic. Doesn't need to look planned, you right. know, yeah, and, and yeah. scripted. That's very true. Um, oh, most people thought that for sure. Now, did you get nervous as it went on? Like, shit, once people find out it's not real, I'm not going to be able to get all these people watching anymore? Oh, big time, no. I, I try to keep, I try to let, you know, people know that Tammy is a character. Right. And then there's Chelsea. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that do, you know, characters and they don't show their real self. We they, know somebody like that too. Oh, I, I know. There's several people that if we were to say them, people would be shocked at, that's a character? Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Um, I wanted to let people know right off the bat, this is a character. This is comedy. I have me. I have my stuff, you know. So they know. But I will say this. <clears throat> a lot of people still don't know. Dick. We had a show. I try to make it very clear. We had a show in Milwaukee. And my sister works the merch booth. And afterwards, she came up to me and she was like, Chelsea, oh my gosh. She goes, I had this lady come up and I was selling Chelsea Lynn t-shirts. And the lady goes, who's Chelsea Lynn? <laughs> and my sister was like, are you serious? <laughs> she goes, who is that? Is she opening for Tammy? Oh. And Beth goes, that's who you're here to see, honey. Is that, that is Tammy. She had, she had no clue. Was she pissed or just flabbergasted? Flab just like, what? Like, had no, like, it's wild. I get a lot of that, you know? I guess that's good. It, it looks like I'm doing a good job, yeah, right? You know? Sure. So that's good, but yeah. Now, when you're doing that, are you thinking stand up at all at some point? Or are you just like, I'm just going to ride this and see what happens? I was not thinking stand up at all. I thought I was wanting to do movies and shows and stuff, which I still want to do, but I love doing stand up. But no, I, I was like, hell, there's no way I can do stand up that's scary. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to write stand up yeah. material. I, you know, I, and, and then my fans were like pressuring me for like years, two, yeah. three years, like, come on, do some shows, do some stand up. And I kept saying, no, I'm not, you know. And all of a sudden, this bitch over mm. here is like, oh, I started stand up. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you started stand up. How I was dare like, you? I was like, that's why I'm, you know. So big inspiration for me to start was you starting. I've told, oh. I've told her that. You know, I've told her that. I don't know if I'd be doing stand-up if she wouldn't have started. I don't yeah, know. She, she came to one of my shows. She's like, I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you're doing that. And then, like, two years later, she's doing it like she's been doing it for 10 fucking years. Yeah, I, It was infuriating. <laughs> the first time she went on stage, that's I was the same level at year, like, five. Like, oh. just so fucking, na like, a natural. And Thank I'm not you, trying honey. to kiss her ass, but, like... <laughs> Thank you. Her first time on stage... <clears throat> was like she'd been doing it for at least five years. Really? So, because she already has it in her, you know? Yeah, yeah. She'd yeah. been doing comedy already, so. And what was your first show like? Was it five minutes? You only had to do five minutes? You had to do ten? Did you we, do open mics or did you no, skip that whole thing? Skip, I've bitch. skipped the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. Here's how it happened. We had a friend reach out who does stand up and was like, hey, I'm, would you guys want to, would you want to do like basically this like, um this show in Dallas and. We can all do it together. And I was like, I don't do stand up. And, you know, it, it, long story short, I was like, all right, book it. And I'll come up with something and let's do it. Because I thought I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. And I thought if I don't just 
rip the Band-Aid and do something. That's I'm exactly never going to do That's exactly how music works, too. If you're a band, you're not quite ready, and you just book a show mm-hmm. and like, all right, yes, got to be done at that point. <laughs> yep. You'll figure it out, <clears throat> which is how I do a lot of stuff in my career. But yeah. that, was, that was the biggest one because I was just scared. Mm-hmm. I was just terrified. And he had asked me, he goes, well, they're needing an answer by, you know, tomorrow, whatever. Oh, and God. I, I literally was like, okay, book it. Well, I'll think of something. And how many people were there? Oh, the show sold out in, it was supposed to be one show. It sold out within like five minutes. So we added a second show. That okay. sold out in like five minutes. And they were like, you want to add a third? And I was like, okay, that sold out. You want to add a fourth? Okay, <laughs> oh my God. that sold out. They were at a fifth. And I was like, no, that's too much. Yeah, yeah. Let's so just stop at four. You have to be freaking out at that point. Oh, I was dying. Because have you even began begun to sit down and go, all like, right, how do you start? What do I do? How do I do this? I I think we had what a month or two to a couple months to figure it out. And I was like, okay. So I just, I mean, I just had some funny ideas. I I really just tell stories about like my childhood and what's happened to me and like stories about my life. Right. So I just took a couple, you know, a couple things and I kind of wrote them out and practiced them in my bedroom. Yeah. Didn't do an open, nothing. So I was so like, that was your first stand up was in front of well, five sold out uh, so, shows. Yeah. But did you come out in a Reba shirt as Tammy? So for the very first shows we did, I came out as Chelsea and did like five minutes of stand, five or 10 minutes of stand up, And then I left Think for them thinking that that was it. And then I came back out, quickly dressed, came back out as Tammy and finished with another like... And they went crazy, mm, I'm sure. Yeah. With another like 10 minutes. I don't do that anymore. Um, I just come out and do Tammy the whole time. But... Because um, it's scary because when they think the show's over after she does five minutes, people are like, what the... Starting to get... You got to get out there quick before you start throwing chairs. I mean, right. There was some show... I mean, it was... A couple shows were uncomfortable with how like not Angry. happy yes mm. and even though people are like but when you came out as tammy they love i go uh, uh, uh. i'm not no i'll come out as tammy something can happen in those 15 yeah, at years first, ago. at first that shit's funny you know like let's let's make them think that it's mm-hmm. over and then like that's funny and you think they would like get it later when you come out spooky. no <laughs> no <laughs> shit ain't funny no more after those i said i'll never do that i'll never do that switch up again ever <laughs> ever um but i thought okay i'm gonna do these shows i may just suck I may not like it, you know, and I did them and I was like, oh my God. This is it, way better than Vine. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, it's so scary, but it's also like the biggest rush and the, be- when you're up there crushing, there's no better feeling. It's like, it's like, okay, that's worth being the nerves before is how yes. you feel after. And the waiting around before mm-hmm. and the drive, that's what we always talk about, we play for free you get paid for all of the other 23 hours of the day <laughs> dealing yeah. with it yeah to get there to play yep so yep. you five sold out shows at that point are agents coming uh, like all of a sudden people are like hey 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 wanting to work with you i bet at this point oh yeah, yeah. that's when it started coming that's when it's because they, they saw can make I, money off of you they saw i could sell tickets yeah mm-hmm. so apparently they had been you know lurking and watching and following me and i you know i'd never didn't know that but as soon as those sh- uh, shows sold out dozens I bet because they were probably watching the viral stuff, and then if she does, is she going to do a movie or uh-huh. like going? You could turn this into something. We want to be there to get our ten percent whenever she figures yep. it out. Yep, mm-hmm. dozens and dozens of people reached out, and I literally was like, well, "Let me do these shows first, <clears throat> make sure I, you know, am even good at it." And then afterwards, I set up myself. I set up. I was in L.A. for three or four days, and I think I met with fifteen, ten or fifteen people at different agencies and management and just and just went from just meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting and uh, the very last people i met with was the ones i decided to go with loved them didn't it didn't feel like a all the rest of them felt like a very businessy almost uptight work interview and the last people that i met with it felt like they were my age they were cool we were you know they represent a lot of big comedians and so i went with them but that's exactly right as soon as those shows sold out that's when they came a knocking for sure wow yep that's a hell of an open mic (laughs) (laughs) yes now did you feel any i mean i guess you weren't really hanging around in comedy circles really back then but did you feel any blowback for a Making it so quick, there's had to be some <clears throat> petty pettiness within the community, or maybe you just weren't around it. Um, no, I don't think at all. And I that's what I was scared of. Yeah, oh, I was ter- I was like, oh, they're gonna think, who's this bitch coming in off of YouTube, right? 
selling out shows, thinking she can, you know, never. Yeah. I really thought that that was could not be more of the opposite. Really, people have been so um, welcoming and nice, and you know, wanting to collab and work on it, and, and it's genuine. Like I haven't gotten any. <clears throat> Any negative from it. Do you think it's because, number one, you're from the South, <clears throat> small town, and number two, you weren't like going in like a shark trying to take over everything and likable or whatever? I mean, we get away with a lot being from the South, especially yeah. elsewhere, because it's like, ah, you know, you throw, throw the accent on a little thick or whatever. But right. you're just diff- people are a little bit different coming from the South, and when you drop yourself into, or not necessarily the South, Midwest, whatever, but when you drop yourself into L.A., you're kind of like an alien, and they yeah. probably, you know, like... I'm not going to hate on her. She's funny and yeah. she's very likable. Yeah. Well, I've, t- I've talked to <clears throat> multiple like big comedians about this, about how I've had that fear of them, you know, not accepting. And I'm like, oh, thank you guys for being, you know, and they've all told me the same thing. They're like, no, like we got to stick together. Like us comedian, it's us against like we have to stick together. We have to be supportive of each other. Yeah. They've all told me that same thing. And yes. kindness goes yeah. such a long way too because- oh. You meet people out there that aren't kind. Yeah. And uh, she's just good to everyone. Well, that's what I mean. I was just about to say what you're saying, comedians, we all got to be. That's true for you and some, but I know it's not true for every comedian out there. We've talked to a few. We've heard stories. Really? Really. I mean, you know, it's like any, it's the same way with bands. Most of the people are cool, but there's always people that get jealous. And why are you getting out there in front? You've just been lucky enough to surround yourself with people. I think I lucked out for sure. And you're more likable than most of them. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so what you put out into the world, you know, universe usually puts that back. Oh, in your I path, love, I know? love that. Yeah, and even though it's it's it seems like it was fast, she's been working hard for a long, long time. time. So yeah. I think people see that too. It's like, oh, yeah. she didn't just pop up. You're like she's an incredible businesswoman. Yeah, and your vines are like open mics. It's not like you weren't yeah. doing anything. You were. Yeah. Doing it for free for three years. You yeah, know? I like that. Thank you. What about the comedy store? Have you been there to? I've been invited you? and I'm too scared. I know, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that be so fucking scary? <laughs> I'm Lynn. too scared. Oh my god! I've been invited multiple times and I, or, or like I'll, I'll have a friend like, "Hey, I'm doing it. If I'm in LA, I'm come to the. Con-. I'm like, no. Oh, you gotta do it. It's gonna feel just like those five sold out <laughs> shows when you do it, though. Yeah, it will. I will. I'm go- I'm going to eventually. I've just been putting it off because I'm too. Because that's but like. But see, know, this is another it. reason that you have respect for the genre yeah. by not wanting to just like fuck yeah, I'll go do the comedy store. Yeah. So that shows a little bit of like you're not coming in like banging. You know heads. how important it is. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. When you're finally there doing it. Yeah. It'll be a big fucking deal. That's like the biggest thing for a comedian. So I I'm know. just yeah. I'll I'll get there. I'll just gotta work up the nerve. I get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, have you bombed yet on stage? I don't. Christ, she's gonna say no. It's gonna, <laughs> it keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I don't feel like I have. We've. I mean, you have audiences that you know the energy is way low, so it yeah, may not. That's not bombing. It may not be a good. You don't feel good, you know. But we've heard bombing stories on this podcast. <laughs> that is not bombing. I don't feel like I've bombed yet. <laughs> good. And I don't, that almost makes it even scarier for me. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's always time. There's, you know, follow yeah. your dreams. <laughs> and I've performed in front of a couple audiences that, that weren't there to see me. And so I'm thinking, okay, this is my time to bomb because, you know, everybody else came to see me. They're going to laugh at anything I say. Right. And I was kind of shocked that that didn't happen either. So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> maybe I'm all right at this, you know, yeah. but yeah. I, it's going to happen. You but know, I'm just like, yeah, I'm waiting on it. Seems like you're lucky that you didn't get, you know, back in the Ron White days, they a Southern comedian, they'd shove you in the Southeast and you, you know, you just hung out down there. And mm-hmm. it seems like comedy doesn't do that. Oh. Now. Probably because of Ron mm-hmm. White and uh, what's his name? Foxworthy. Foxworthy. Yeah. They played anywhere and mm-hmm. they realized, oh, you can do this in the Bronx. And they still, they oh, might literally. not have grown up there, but they get it. Oh, yeah. Some of our best shows were in, you know, upstate New York. Yeah. Like we, I mean, we, we'll sell out, you know, all over. Not just the South. That's exciting, you know, because yeah. some people will say, oh, like you're, you do this, you know. So, but here's my thing. My, my material is not really Southern uh, comedy. Tammy is Southern. The, the material is real. I mean, the material right. is like, you know, it's all like shit that's happened to me. That, that is real. That's the difference between the online stuff. All my online stuff is stuff I've written. Right. Um, fake skits, you know, it's none, none of it's really real. The 
I could tell my stand up as Chelsea and it would work. You know, I just do it as Tammy. It's funnier. People love it. And it's almost easier for me to do it as Tammy. It's almost mm-hmm. like a security yeah, blanket. Tammy yeah, will bomb yeah. eventually. You'll, ne- you'll never it's bomb. If yeah. Tammy bombs, <laughs> Tammy, <laughs> won't, <laughs> Tammy won't accept a bombing. Yeah, you're right. She'll be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better fucking laugh at me. <laughs> she tells people not to ruin her jokes. She tells them to shut up. <laughs> Don't ruin uh, my joke. Oh, yeah. If you talk during my set. they're coming to hear that. They want yes. that. It's so great. Oh, it's perfect, Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Lynn, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. And haven't you found we've it, it, there's uh, people all over are basically the same. I remember we the first time we were going to play in Pittsburgh in this particular band. You hadn't been there. I'm like, dude, there's so many rednecks in Pittsburgh. They just talk differently. We are all exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You go up there and it's You're just right. a different accent. Yeah. Yens, yens instead of y'all. <laughs> yeah. They work on cars. They go hunting. They yep. drink a lot. You know. Yeah. And yeah. that's everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. We're all more like than we think. Uh, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, there's a lot real. of dollars being spent to try and convince us otherwise. Right, Everything for sure. See. Yeah, for sure. So, what's y'all's um, go-to snack on the road? <laughs> We're big gas station guys. <laughs> love <laughs> a little Debbie. We love. <laughs> People will bring us boxes and boxes and bagfuls of little Debbies, like fifty boxes. Because you just one talked time. about it so much, or something. Well, they just know we love little Debbies, yeah. and sometimes they'll bring us so much that the, we the little like, white. Swirly, the chocolate <clears throat> cupcake oh, with the nice. white zebra oh, cakes, Swiss rolls, oh, nutty bars, okay. oh, yeah. oatmeal cream Snack pies, cakes. strawberry cakes, <laughs> snack cakes. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, dude. All of them. People bring us a lot of little Debbies to the point where we like sometimes have to give them away to the people at the venues. <laughs> We're like, hey, you guys want? I mean, it's so much. Yeah. Um, my favorite gas station snack. I'll get, I'll get a bag of Funyuns, a thing of bean dip, and a chocolate milk. The three weirdest kind. Con- wow. Oh. Sounds like oh. she's pregnant. You dip, you dip the fun Oh, into- yeah. <laughs> it's all going in. She makes soup. <laughs> and that it's Frito-like so- bean dip. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> and what's yours? I like sunflower seeds. Okay. If I'm going to get a real... seems very sna- reasonable. If I get like, snacks, I'll get some chips, candy bars, and stuff like that. But the the sunflower seeds really help with driving for me. And we're really big on... Um, we, we're not fancy. We don't do like the <clears throat> craft service at the venue or whatever. We like Postmates something. And we're real big on wedge salads. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love a good wedge oh. salad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we are number. That's our number one. Why? What, what's oh, the blue so cheese good. crumbles and the. You ever had a lettuce wedge? <clears throat> Hard. Yeah, but I'm not the understanding. Bacon. Oh, <laughs> God. With the red onion and the. It's almost like the steak of salads. There's oh, some girth yeah. there. It'll fill you up. It's good stuff. Best salad in the world. I'm with y'all on that. mm -hmm. We'll find a steakhouse and we'll just Postmate wedge salads, dude. We need to put that on the rider because right now... There you go. The only thing on the rider is Coke. Bottles of water. Cocaine? (laughs) Coca-Cola. Okay. Just want to clarify. (laughs) Coca-Cola. Water. And I... (laughs) We'll clip it there. I think we added vegetables or something like the last bit. We added a vegetable tray, but we... There for a while, we weren't even eating it, so we took it. We took that off. And we're, pi- <laughs> we're picky about ranch too. That's the thing. Oh, it now has you're to talking Ray Lynn's language. Yes. That's yes. the thing. We'd ranch get ra- we'd get a not a good tray, and we'd yeah, we wouldn't Might fuck as well with throw it. Throw the vegetables away, right? Yeah, yeah. We've right. Been out to eat with this one. When she finds good so ranch, in, it's frightening. So uh, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, there's a place called There was. Don it's been Hall's shut down. Guest apparently. House, but they would make their own homemade ranch dressing, and I. I was literally licking the plate because I wanted. She's sitting to, there with bread, and, and the waiter and comes up I'm and is like, to it up "Ma'am, uh, do you want me to bring you some more ranch?" And she just looks up and goes, <laughs> "Oh, I couldn't you even get look a up. good ranch though. Yeah, it's There's good. nothing better." But and it's hard to find good ranch if you're not in the South. And for people sure. look down on that. They see ranch as being very childish, like you're childish, low class. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, why don't you try some ranch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's then not Catalina that. You could for Christ's sake. Ranch on a guitar and it would taste good. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. <sighs> so what was it when you? And now I'm interested just the trajectory when you guys the first tour. How did you plan that out? How did it go? How did you roll? What were you traveling in? All that kind of stuff. Well, we first started. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, let me buy an RV. Yeah, and sounds so, like fun. <clears throat> right? Sounds like it. <laughs> it's like a cruise. Sounds so like I fun. bought a brand new $130,000 RV because I was like, I nice. want something nice. I want something we're going to be comfortable in. I want something that's not going to leave us stranded. That's not, you know, whatever. Huh. Um, 
we got we got stranded multiple times, <laughs> broke down multiple times. Um, nothing worked on the RV. Nothing. It was the biggest pain in the ass. Now, were you sleeping in it as well, or were you going to hotels and just a little bit of both? We did sleep mm-hmm. in it a lot. Um, it. I mean, it was. Was it brand new? Brand new. And it broke down all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it was so kind of right. Um, every time, like we would need to take it to the shopper, you could only take it to special like yeah. RV places. There'd be a three month wait whatever we you know like it, it was i mean you couldn't drive it downtown you couldn't park it anywhere it was a nightmare. can't go through fast food no nope. can't go through fast food <laughs> it was constant we never had a, one week that was flawless of touring um so i had to get rid of it we i had it what less than a year eight months i mean something like that and i took like a thirty thousand dollar loss on it see and again this is another way of paying dues instead of riding in the two-seat car <laughs> driving around you, it's almost worse when you have an rv and you're like this is great and then it's not oh yeah. god on. so you definitely have paid your dues as we're going along I'm like thank yep, you. that checks that box that <laughs> thank checks you. that box that checks that box <laughs> thank you, you. Know who loved the rv though her dog gary oh gary love i have a little a little baby named gary and he if we had him on the floor i mean he would just cry until he wanted to be up by the big window he wanted to see the open road and just sat there and oh he loved he misses the rv gary misses the rv he was the captain yep so now you're just in a like an escalator or something suburban the, yeah and we and we have a trailer while we're merch yeah. in it and beth just drop ships you know merch wherever we need and we we lug it and we're just all in a we've heard from a little bird that you have quite the merch thing my merch slaps and is popping that is very smart. Better than a journey concert. It's well, yeah. yeah. We <laughs> and you know comedians don't really either don't sell merch because it's hard like, you know, it doesn't do well or whatever. We have taken merch into venues and they're like, "Oh, you guys have this is way too much. Like y'all aren't like merch doesn't sell well here." And my sister's like, "Just set back." <laughs> <laughs> set back. <laughs> And they'll give, or they'll give us like one little corner, but it's like, oh no, I need the whole lobby. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> and they'll be like, are you sure? They're like, she's like, trust me. And they're always shocked and wild. They're like, oh my God, we've never had anyone come in and sell that much merch. Like <laughs> merch, I mean, people line up and we have to, we always have to start the show late because of merch. We're out the venue late because of merch. I mean, merch. Yeah. It's popping. So was that your idea or is it somebody else? Cause you definitely have to have somebody else. We drag it along sometimes, but unless you've got somebody doing it, it's terrible to have it's to deal hard, with yeah. um with the with the live show merch it's all me and my sister we do all of it um, older or younger sister she's younger okay she's our little tour manager mm-hmm. um she does everything to do that yeah. really yeah she quit i <laughs> <laughs> she got sick of us <laughs> i um i do all the designing i have you know i have a couple people that i love to work with that i'll just shoot them ideas and they'll do all the designing and beth orders everything and ships everything and we do all the problem. I mean, we do it ourselves. Now, it's getting kind of to a point that if we start doing even venues that are a little bit bigger, we're going to have to have probably a company come in. And, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, it's getting a little too much. But as long as I can, you know, not give away that percentage just for as long as I can, there you I'm, go. I'm hanging on to it. Because that's a, that's a good way to make money. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Her sister's almost getting too famous where she can't even sell it she, anymore. Oh. She can't even. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants pictures with her and she's mm-hmm. selling and yeah. taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Scout. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sister. Yeah. It's getting yeah. hard. We're about to have to, yeah. Do would you guys else. ever do the tour bus? Do you think that's going to be the same as an RV? I would love yeah. to. Oh God, I would love to. I then would. We wouldn't have to drive it's it. It's yeah. great. Or it's worry fun. about you know. So expensive. I know. We. I really, really wanted to do it this round. We're going on tour. We start in March, and I'd looked into it, but compared to what we spend on gas and hotel, it would have been like four times yes. that. I'm like, yeah. <sighs> Especially last year with gas and everything. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, <sighs> but I feel like we're almost there. Mm-hmm. I go a little bit bigger venues and we'll, we're tour busing <clears throat> it up. The best thing about that, it's not even the, I mean, the bus is fancy and everything, but just not having to drive and it's like a time capsule because you get done and you fall asleep and you wake up and you're in the next town. Oh, It's great. <laughs> it's so nice. And we've only done it a couple times, but it yeah. is nice. Oh. We're back to the 15 thought, passenger van. Because oh. my grandpa always had a tour bus my whole life. So I thought. Was, Everyone had a yeah, tour bus. Yeah, I thought every musician or, yeah. you know, any artist had a tour bus and that yeah. came with it, you know, but no. God. It would be a fart capsule, though. Oh, big oh, yeah. time. You said tar- time capsule, more like a fart <laughs> capsule for us. Big time. 
<laughs> Big time. Tube capsule. They're gonna have to scrape the walls <laughs> to get it back. Do Little you, Debbie. Do you guys just sit around just coming up with skits and stuff? And do you guys now let's ever... talk about what's the compound look like? Who lives? You moved to Nashville. <laughs> Who's on the compound? So Libby and I live together. Yeah. So right now nobody's on the land. We bought a hundred acres and it's still completely undeveloped. So we won't live on that for a, probably at least a few years, couple right. years. But Libby and I live together now with my sister Beth. But I just bought a house four minutes down the road that me, my husband, and Beth are moving into. And then Libby's going to stay at the other house with my other sister. And, and we're all kind of we're all just kind of making do until we can yeah. figure something out with the land. Yeah. Now, is a plan to build houses around one big one? Like I think on our property, I want to I want to build a house for me. And then we want to build a big shop for Greg. He's a big car guy. Huge car guy, collects cars, works on cars, so he's got to have his shop. I want to build a podcast studio on the yeah. property. I want to have like a, almost like a filming set where I, I bring in like a, just an old trailer house and just deck it up as if Tammy would live there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, oh and that's where I film Tammy skits and stuff. Yes. So that's going to happen too. And I think probably that'll just be us on the land since the other houses are, oh, they're all within five minutes from each yeah. other right. so we're all right there we'll all be you know okay. still right there so that's the plan that's what, what about the Tammy life? movie I would love to start writing one this year yeah yeah that's the obvious next step right. that's my goal is to write a movie um that was my goal for 2022 didn't happen too busy so I'm like okay that's a good problem I, to have yeah <laughs> but I keep putting it off because I'm so busy I go I just need to I need to make time for it so 2023 I'm gonna write a Tammy movie that's it's exciting. Gonna, and it's going to happen. Okay. So. Well, if you need a soundtrack or anything. We're yes. Y'all got to be in it, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah That'd be sure. awesome. I'm you, dead serious. Yeah. Just, let us know. Okay. We are definitely in it. I also okay. wanted to run something by you. Maybe you'll clip this out. Okay. okay. You clip this out. Love to be in and your we're movie. back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yes, uh, we want to be in your movie. Yes. We wanna, yes. Want to write 90s country songs for your movie, whatever Hell you need. yes. Okay. I'll let y'all know. Um, okay, before I let you go, when's the first time you remember hearing about my grandpa, Willie Ooh. Nelson? Do you have a fun Willie story? Or I've, um, I feel like people are just born knowing Willie Nelson. We've got that a lot. But um, I would say, okay, okay, I would say um, the Leanne Rhymes fan club. Okay. <laughs> I was a big <laughs> Leanne Rhymes. I don't know what it is. I don't either. I was, <laughs> <laughs> we just weren't expecting it. We were just, <laughs> I was in the <laughs> Leanne Rhymes fan club, and which was a big deal for my family because we had to send in ten dollars, <laughs> and that was a big fucking deal. I couldn't believe my mom did that for me, and we got back a headshot. Like I was, it was oh, I love that headshot. I, you know, when Blue came out, yeah. that was like she was it. And after that song came out, I had heard like, oh, that's actually a Willie Nelson song that he wrote for Patsy Cline. Oh, yeah. And I think that was my first like, because you had, all, you know, as a kid, you hear the songs, you know, on the road. Yeah, and you hear the voice and but it's stuck in. as a little kid, you don't know who that is. So I think that was the first time that I was like, oh, who's Willie Nelson? Like he wrote this song for Patsy Cline. But now, you know, so that whole story, yeah. I feel was my first like introduction to Willie Nelson, yeah. and I was probably seven. Oh, that's when that, pretty young. Cause yeah, when I was seven, Willie Nelson was old people's music. I really, mean, I that stuff. Yeah, all the country, all the stuff, all the country music I really love now. My grandfather listened to like yeah. Hank Senior, Willie, Waylon, all those guys. And yep. I'm like, eh, ACDC, punk rock. <laughs> and then you know, I got to probably 18 or 19 and started listening to him. And all of a sudden, Hank Senior is probably my favorite country artist of all time. Wow. The simplicity and the way he writes lines. Your grandpa does the same shit, but yeah. he's a fan of Hank too, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hank was his, uh, they all wanted to be like Hank Williams. Yeah, he was like the Elvis of country music. Yes, mm -hmm. big time. They all loved yeah. him. And he died at 28. You see those pictures of him? He looks he's 60. So old, I know. 28 years old. That's so young. Uh -huh. And they, but life was hard back then. <clears throat> yeah. The Dust Bowl generation. Yeah. yeah. 53 is when he died, I think. 1953. And, and Papa remember. Willie would have been 20. When he died, and he, wow. so he always okay. looked the same age, always, no matter. Yeah, he did. He definitely looked like a young <laughs> just, man, except for, just as, <laughs> since he's had his braids. Yeah, just the iconic look always. Mm -hmm. It's funny seeing him with the short hair still. Those yeah, early, early, ones. early pictures. Yeah, before they threw him out of Nashville because they said he couldn't sing. Yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Texas and made Austin 
his bitch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Super yeah. expensive to live in now. <laughs> yeah, it's Willie's fault. <laughs> you guys, thanks for doing this with us. You guys yeah, are so fun. Thanks. It was great. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Fun yeah. story. And like I said, you've, you've checked off all the boxes and paid all your dues. Yeah. So if anybody hates, you. they can piss off. Thank, Thank you. Suck our dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Perfect ending. Yeah. That was great. That was fun. How long was that? That flew by. Chelsea Lynn is my favorite comedian. <laughs> really? Chelsea Lynn is my favorite comedian. Yeah, she was funny. I think we're friends now. Yeah, I think we are friends. Maybe we'll be in her movie. Anyway, enjoy your groceries. I know your mama's name. Oh, uh, did we cheers yet? I can't remember the rest. Enjoy your cigarette. And Happy New Year, everybody.